Good evening. My name is Ajuri Ingilali, and you are most welcome to Africa's Future Leaders. <laughs> The Mandela Washington Fellowship Regional Conference offers insight into what is possible when young people of impact and altruistic intention work together. But we understand that ultimately true change begins with the determination and effectiveness of one person's individual action before collective action can be mobilized toward the same direction. It is for this reason that Africa's future leaders deems it essential that we profile and examine the stories and impact of individual young leaders across this diverse continent of Africa we call home. On this edition of the program, we introduce you to one of Nigeria's most renowned disability advocates and a young leader of international repute, Lois Auta. Afflicted with polio at the age of two years old, Lois turned her lifelong physical impairment into an incredible mandate to defend the rights of Nigeria's physically challenged community. We are honored to share her story with you. This is the beginning of a daily routine in the life of Lois Auta. Routine for her, but extraordinary to many. On a brisk morning, she drives into her place of work at the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NPC, entering into the office through peculiar paths rarely taken. A joy-filled smile shines on her face, but underneath is a soul-deep determination to turn every inconvenience, every difficulty, into fresh opportunity to make a positive difference for someone else. At least in each building we want two rooms, entrance and exit. And from there we also want to go to Khan Christian Association of Nigeria. Okay to also make churches accessible okay. and also the mocks, the national body, okay. to also go there. Yeah, like here. Like here. Yeah, you can. Hello. Yeah, okay. Navigating the NNPC towers is an extra challenge for this emerging <laughs> young African leader. That's right. Yeah. Even as the massive complex demands daily distance travel, she says she appreciates the accessibility of elevators and ramps throughout the facility. Upon reaching an office space she shares with her able-bodied colleagues, she sheds light on her daily duties. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, how is work? Okay. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, I type memos and I also dispatch memos. 
to various departments. It involves movement because if I am sent with documents to another department, I need to move with my powered wheelchair from block C to block A, or block C to block B, or block C to block D. And it's very, very comfortable. I enjoy my work because they have also done well to provide a powered wheelchair for us, which help us in moving around easily and independently. The journey to this point has been long, winding and strenuous, with her focus fixed on a future now filled with hopes and aspirations she still cannot forget the pains of yesterday, even as she counts her blessings. I was affected by polio when I was two years old. I grew up and found myself differently from other kids. So at that time, inferiority complex set in. I didn't want to mingle with other kids. I didn't want to play with them until my mom walked on me she said this happened for good so i should accept it and i should always thank god for my life so good it was Francis. at I'm that good. point that well. i began to feel free oh, i began to oh, it was mingle with my classmates and children in my neighborhood I was supported by my family. They sent me to school. I finished my primary and secondary school in Kaguru, in Kaduna State. So from there, I headed to Abuja. I did my diploma at the University of Abuja in public administration. So after my diploma, about 11 of us of the same course same year, came to NNPC for um, PPMC for IT, that's industrial training, six months IT. So from there, I was the only person among them that was retained. So I asked one of the HR officers, uh, because I was so surprised and um, shocked when I heard the news there my name was among the staff that was recruited so she said one of the and hr managers came to my office where i served and she asked them some questions and she got to know that lois is a hard working <laughs> lady she smiles a lot she is friendly to everyone she's humble I'm not praising myself, but that was the response she got from my colleagues. Surviving the hard knocks of an upbringing in the difficult conditions of northern Nigeria, Lois says every bit of adversity she has endured since she was stricken with polio fuels her determination to alleviate the suffering of future generations. My parents ensure that I go to school every day. They've done their best by supporting me in primary and secondary education. But after then, my mom was retrenched, retrenched and my dad also lost his job. So I asked myself so many questions. How will I go further? Then I started selling recharge card and making Hello. phone calls to be able to support myself in school. And that was how I was able to um, sponsor myself in the diploma I got from the University of Abuja, with also the support of friends and neighbors. Even some members of my church, they also supported me. But today is a different story. I support other children to go to school by setting up 
a foundation called Cedar Seed Foundation, where we advocate for the rights of disabled people. It was set up in 2011. In 2012, we went to Kaduna State and distributed 120 mobility aids to some indigents in Kaduna State. And that project, and that was the first project that was supported by NNPC. Then the second project was called Inclusive Education Project, where we gave out scholarship awards to 256 students with the support of Sahara Foundation. And Sahara Foundation is also a contact I got from NNPC. Disabled people have rights, they have potentials, they have abilities, they have what it takes to be productive. The only thing they need is opportunity and support and they will deliver exceedingly well. Fantastic! <laughs> okay. <laughs> for many, sport offers an escape from the rigors of life, but wow, from the perspective of you. Nigeria's physically challenged...